What's a simulated experience again? Well, all your memories about your wife and daughter are false. They're like a dream. Someone's taken advantage of you. They were trying to make you ghost hack into some government officials. Do you understand what I'm saying? But that can't be. I've been to your home. It's a bachelor's apartment. No one's there. But I already told you. I rented that room when I separated from my wife. I checked the records. You've been living there over 10 years. The truth is, you've never had a wife or kid. Like he said, they aren't real. They're a simulated experience, a fantasy. Look, this is the photo you showed to your coworker. Who do you see? I had a picture of her. She was there. She was smiling like an angel. What's her name? How old is she? Where'd you meet your wife and when did you marry her? I'm sorry to put you through this, pal. Come on, who do you see? If this is all a lie, what happens? Will I get my old memory back? Your original memory will never be fully restored, and there might be residual simulation. We don't have the technology yet to handle Cymex erasures. I'm sorry. That's all it is. Information, even a simulated experience or a dream, is simultaneous reality and fantasy. Any way you look at it, all the information that a person accumulates in a lifetime is just a drop in the bucket. Hey, what's on your mind? That robot, did we seem similar to you? Of course not. No, I don't mean physically. Just what then? Well, I guess cyborgs like myself have a tendency to be paranoid about our origins. Sometimes I suspect I'm not who I think I am. Like maybe I died a long time ago and somebody took my brain and stuck it in this body. Maybe there never was a real me in the first place and I'm completely synthetic like that thing. You've got human brain cells in that titanium shell of yours. You're treated like other humans, so stop with the angst. But that's just it. That's the only thing that makes me feel human. The way I'm treated. I mean, who knows what's inside our heads? Have you ever seen your own brain? It sounds to me like you're doubting your own ghost. What if a cyber brain could possibly generate its own ghost, create a soul all by itself? And if it did, just what would be the importance of being human then? That's bullshit. You know you're dying to see what's inside of that thing, aren't you? And I can't stop you. Neither of us has any idea what's inside there. Just be careful, okay? You caused the Puppet Master to dive into a cyborg, then meanwhile murdered his real body? Yes, that sums it up. He's originally from America, so the U.S. cooperated with us in capturing him. That's why we'd like to take him back ourselves. You have no objections to this. I hope. Hmm. Just another unidentified corpse. Hey. You will not find the corpse, because I have never possessed a body. Why are his sensors on? What the hell is this? All external controls are turned off. The body's using its own power source. I entered this body because I was unable to overcome Section 6's reactive barriers. However, what you are now witnessing is an act of my own free will. As a sentient life form, I hereby demand political asylum. Is this a joke? Ridiculous! It's programmed for self-preservation! It can also be argued that DNA is nothing more than a program designed to preserve itself. Life has become more complex in the overwhelming sea of information. And life, when organized into species, relies upon genes to be its memory system. So man is an individual only because of his intangible memory. And memory cannot be defined, but it defines mankind. The advent of computers and the subsequent accumulation of incalculable data has given rise to a new system of memory and thought parallel to your own. Humanity has underestimated the consequences of computerization. Nonsense! This babble offers no proof at all that you're a living, thinking life form. And can you offer me proof of your existence? How can you? when neither modern science nor philosophy can explain what life is. Who the hell is this? Even if you do have a ghost, we don't offer freedom to criminals. It's the wrong place and time to defect. Time has been on my side, but by acquiring a body, I am now subject to the possibility of dying. Fortunately, there is no death sentence in this country. What is it? Artificial intelligence? Incorrect. I am not an AI. 
My code name is Project 2501. I am a living, thinking entity who was created in the sea of information. Ah. Oh.